Hello. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Joan Rosenhauer, the Executive Director of Jesuit Refugee Service USA. I'm so pleased to have you with us to recognize JRS's 41st anniversary. Though we were hopeful that we would be able to meet in person this year, we're grateful that we can still come together virtually to recognize the voices and talents of those we serve. Thank you for being a part of our mission and for joining us virtually to celebrate another year of walking together with refugees. The pandemic continues to change our lives and cause devastating loss. Numerous global crises, from our deteriorating climate to abrupt humanitarian emergencies in Afghanistan and Myanmar, have broken our hearts and called us to do more. In our 41st year, we heard this call and put even more into fulfilling our mission to accompany those who've been forced to flee their homes. We have supported programs around the world to continue to educate refugee students, find pathways to sustainable and dignified income and work, reconcile issues of violence and tragedy, and ease the suffering that forcible displacement causes. Our colleagues have visited refugees in their homes, provided them with support and worked diligently to ensure their voices are heard. As our hearts went out to the people fleeing Afghanistan, JRS geared up to facilitate their travel, to help them cope with their stress, and to help them settle into new homes around the world, including in the U.S. One of the things I'm most proud of is our response here at home. In April, alongside our colleagues from JRS Mexico and Jesuit Migration Services Mexico, we launched a new program, Caminar Contigo, to respond to the needs for legal as well as mental health and psychosocial support at our southern border. The need is great. Thousands of people are still waiting for their chance at safety and security in the United States. I had a chance to visit the program and spend some time with those who are trying to seek asylum in the United States. In a sprawling shelter near the U.S. border in Mexico, I met Gloria, a 33-year-old woman from Central America. She comes from a family of coffee growers, and members of her family were chased down and some were killed by a criminal gang because they would not submit to extortion. Fearing more retribution and with few options for protection, she fled to the United States. After being deported, she is now awaiting her moment for legal processing into the country. Her courage and strength are a powerful testament to her will to reunite with family already here and build a new life free of threats and violence. In Fratelli Tutti, Pope Francis's latest encyclical, he calls us all to commit to love our brothers and sisters around the world. He urges us to ensure that this love reaches beyond borders and geography to people like Gloria. It is a love that begins with our families and communities and extends to those of different cultures, religions, backgrounds across the globe. Ultimately, it is a love that spreads our welcome and compassion to those in need wherever they may be. We extend our love as we continue to accompany, serve, and advocate for forcibly displaced people. And we hope the voices and stories you hear tonight will help you extend your love too.